Greetings and thank you for giving us this wonderful privilege of coming to you at the start of another week. This, of course, is uh, Christmas week, the days leading up to the 25th of December 2020. We're going to celebrate, remember and thank God for the birth of Jesus Christ. This week, I want us to do something different. Uh, I want us to look at the birth of Jesus, but then we want to look at it from a different perspective. We want to look at it from uh, uh, the way in which God releases a work on the earth. And uh, then we want to personalize it and understand that th these are similar patterns in which God works through us when he wants to release his work through us on the earth. So we're calling this week's series of meditation, the Mary Miracle. And we want to draw some lessons from the Mary Miracle. See, the birth of Jesus Christ in this world was the greatest work that took place on the earth. God incarnate, becoming a man in order to die for us on the cross. And as we examine how, how all of this happened, we can learn how God releases His work through us. The first lesson that I want to highlight for us today is that the work of God is released on the earth at the appointed time. In Galatians chapter 4 and verse 4, the Bible says, When the fullness of time had come, God sent forth His Son, born of a woman, born under the law. Although we know in the Garden of Eden, the very uh, instant Adam and Eve sinned and God spoke to them, He said He would send the seed of the woman who would crush the head of the serpent. But it wasn't until 4,000 years later, which, was, which is a pretty long time, that the Lord Jesus came into the earth. If it was you and me, we would have said, you know, let Jesus come the very very next day after the Adam and Eve sinned. Just two souls to be saved, finish the work and go. But God waited 4,000 years before he sent Jesus. And the Bible says the reason God that happened was God did it in the fullness of time, at the appointed time. So God reveals his work, what he wants to release through you and me. He may put it in our heart sometimes five years ahead, 10 years ahead, sometimes 20 years ahead of time. It's there inside you. God has spoken well in advance, but He releases that work through us in the fullness of time when the time is right. And that's what you and I must understand, that we must walk with God and in the fullness of time, He releases His work through us to take place on the earth. Just like what he did in the birth of Christ, he does for you and me, releasing his work through us. So let's tune into God. Let's be sensitive to the fullness of time that he brings us to for each and every work that he wants to release through us. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that your ways and your timings are perfect. And even in the way in which you release things through our lives, help us to recognize, prepare ourselves and await the fullness of time. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.